Hi, zonisamide is one of the best anti-seizure medications and yet one of the most underutilized ones. It works great for all types of uh, epilepsy and seizures. It can be given once a day, for which is great for compliance. It can work for uh, focal epilepsy, for myoclonic seizures, and it can cause weight loss. It can decrease the intracranial pressure and head pressure and treats headache as well. And it works great for people with alcohol abuse and decrease the alcohol cravings and alcohol needs. So let's discuss zonisamide in details today. What type of epilepsy is treated by zonisamide? As we said, zonisamide is considered a broad spectrum anti-seizure drug, which treats all types of epilepsy, focal epilepsy, and generalized. It is approved as an adjunct, means add-on, treatment for focal and generalized epilepsy in children and adults, usually five years old and older. And after recent studies, now we can use zonisamide as the first line treatment. What other conditions are treated by zonisamide? So zonisamide can work in multiple different conditions other than epilepsy. Because it can cause weight loss and decrease appetite, it is given for the eating disorders such as bulimia nervosa. And because it works as a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor, it decreases the fluid production in the head and decreases the intracranial pressure and helps with a condition called idiopathic intracranial hypertension. And there are multiple studies showing that it works great for people with alcohol abuse disorder. It can decrease the craving for alcohol and helps with the withdrawal symptoms. How does zonisamide work and what is the mechanism of action? Zonisamide works in multiple mechanism of action. The first thing is voltage gated sodium channel blocker. So it blocks the propagation of electricity in the brain. And also it works as inhibition of the T type calcium channel. T is from thalamus, and that's why it helps with the generalized seizures. Also, it has carbonic anhydrase inhibition properties, which is the mechanism how the fluid is produced in the brain, and that's how can it can decrease the intracranial pressure and also can affect the kidneys and cause renal stores because of that mechanism. How to dose zonisamide? Dosing of zonisamide is age dependent, and it is now available only in capsule forms and in some pharmacies they can make liquid form of zonisamide. We can use it for children five years of age and older and adults as well. In adults, we start by giving 100 milligrams once a day and increase it to by 100 milligram every week until we reach 300 to 400 milligram a day which is the target treatment dose, and we titrate above that based on the tolerability and the seizure control. And when we reach 400 or higher, we can uh, split it into two doses, morning and night, and the same, the, the same like 400 split it in half, so that it can be better tolerated. And the maximum dose is 600 milligram a day. In children, we start by giving one milligram per kilogram, we can give all of that in one uh, dose and we can increase it after two weeks by 0.5 half a milligram per kilogram addition until we reach a therapeutic dose or a dose that can treat the seizures or based on tolerability of the treatment. In special situation of liver failure or inadequate liver function, we do not need to adjust the zonisamide. However, in cases of renal failure and renal issues, if it's mild, then it's fine. But it, if it is severe, we should avoid the zonisamide because it's renally cleared and it can be affected by the renal function. What to do if zonisamide is not working for me? Well, there are multiple reasons why an anti-seizure medication is not working. Sometimes people People will give too early of so they do not give enough time or give uh, too low of a dose so they do not push the dose high enough to be effective. So we should be consistent in medication and not miss them at all. And if you miss the zonisamide dose, you should take it right when you remember any time during the day. And if it comes the second day without taking the medicine on the previous day, you can double the dose. Or some people will recommend to kind of like space it a little bit out, like maybe 12 hours in between the two doses so that you don't get too much medicine at the same time. But anyways, you should make up the doses that you miss. And sometimes your epilepsy can be just difficult to control. And it's called drug resistant epilepsy and this can happen in 25% of the time and it has special treatments that we talked about in a different video. What are the side effects of zonisamide? Well, the common side effects we usually happen early in the treatment can be dizziness, imbalance, fatigue, nervousness, irritability, 
and loss of appetite and weight loss. Those usually are improving with time apart from the cognitive function and thinking problems, it can last for much longer. And zonisamide can cause decreased sweating, especially in children, it can cause decreased sweating and increase the temperature and fever, especially in hot summer days. So we should be aware of that and avoid any exposure to the sun directly. And zonisamide can cause psychiatric side effects such as depression, anxiety, irritability, especially in people who have a history of psychiatric conditions before, they can get worse with zonisamide. So it is very important to be aware of that and try to monitor for that very closely if this happens. And in some cases, it can cause a suicidal ideation. So we should always screen and ask for it. That. And because zonisamide has this uh, unique carbonic anhydrase inhibitor function, it can decrease the acidity and because it changes in the acidity of the urine, it can cause kidney stones because of a precipitation in more acidic urine. It can cause crystals and that can lead to kidney stones. So you should always drink plenty of fluids when you are taking zonisamide. And zonisamide can cause allergic reaction and skin rash and uh, be, it is considered a sulfa medication. And there's always a question, if I have sulfa allergy, will I be also allergic to zonisamide? And the answer is that sometimes yes, sometimes no. Next question, can I drive or drink alcohol if I'm taking zonisamide? Well, at the beginning, we know that zonisamide can cause dizziness and drowsiness, and you should avoid driving while being on zonisamide initially until your body is getting used to it. And also, zonisamide can interact with alcohol, so you should avoid drinking alcohol, and either way, it can decrease the craving for alcohol and hopefully treat any alcohol abuse disorder that somebody might have. How can I stop zonisamide if it's not working for me? Zonisamide, like any anti-seizure medications, we cannot be stopping them suddenly. We should taper them slowly over a few weeks to months so that to make sure that we do not get any withdrawal seizures. And the only time we stop it immediately is when we have severe allergic reaction. Is zonisamide safe in pregnancy and breastfeeding? Well, overall, zonisamide have limited data in pregnancy. However, the available data is reassuring and there are uh, older, smaller studies show that zonisamide is safe in pregnancy. However, there are newer studies that showed some higher chances of malformation, but overall it is considered safe in pregnancy. And zonisamide is safe in breastfeeding. And now knowing everything about zonisamide, we use zonisamide in those situations. First, when we have a patient who have some compliance issues, or having a hard time taking the medication twice a day, so we give it once a day. We give it for people who desire to have some weight loss, or if somebody has a history of alcohol abuse disorder, it can treat seizures and alcohol abuse as well. And for cases who have increased intracranial pressure and idiopathic intracranial hypertension, it can treat seizures and intracranial pressure at the same time. And for people who have generalized epilepsy and myoclonic jerks. So this was one of many anti-seizure medications and to learn about all the 31 anti-seizure medications available now and how they work and what is the properties and the side effects of them, you can see this video that I summarized all the anti-seizure medications in a very easy way to understand and stay healthy and see you in the next one. Salam.